Have you or a loved one suffered from 3D printile dysfunction? In this video, I'm going to teach you all certain techniques on how to prevent this. So sit back, relax, grab your thinking cap bars, and enjoy the video. This video will cover parts that I sell on my website. This is including my Elite Minor wrists, any of my Mark V wrist variants, along with the elbow joints, how to properly install the Mark V boots, along with increasing friction for stop motion, supraarticulated torso, this is including the T-joint, shoulder joint, double-sided ball joint, and increasing friction use of any mega constructs element or mine. First, I want to show y'all how to properly install this before we go in with a rework. You need to use a Mega Constructs Halo Elite hand or a Mega Constructs Halo Spartan hand. It really doesn't matter, it's kind of your choosing. You're going to install it at a slight angle and then rotate. The same exact method can be used for my Mark V wrist and even my robotic wrist. Now for the rework, you're only gonna need one tool and that is a 1 8 drill bit. You can get this on Amazon, Walmart, Target, it really doesn't matter. All you're gonna be doing is you're gonna line up the 1 8 drill bit over the socket and you're going to create a light bevel. It is super important you do not jam this drill bit inside of the wrist or any of these parts that have a functioning mechanism as you will destroy it and the part will be basically useless. Here you can see after the rework that the part still works and also has full functionality. Again, we're going to be using the same exact concept on the Mark V wrist. All you're doing is creating a light bevel. Now for the shoulder sockets, it's quite simple. All you're going to do is line it up over the hole and then again, create a light bevel. You're not jamming this drill bit inside of this part, just creating a light bevel. Now, if we move over to my super articulated shoulders, again, same exact concept. You're just putting it in where the holes are and creating a light bevel. You do not want to jam this inside of there because again, you will destroy the mechanism and the part will basically be useless. But here you can see me doing this on the robotic arm and also my Mark IV arms that I sell on my website. Now we're moving on to the Mark V boots. You can see the barrier right here where the ball joint sits. If not installed correctly, it's a really easy part to break as it's super thin. Most people, they'll just take off the boot and then jam it in like this, basically creating too much pressure and will snap this very thin part. Won't do that. Don't worry though, I'm here to save the day. It's super easy fix. You're gonna grab your Mark V boot and your leg and you're just going to lightly rotate and add pressure to install it, just like I did. A lot of these things y'all didn't know, so I can't be too mad, but don't worry, I'm here to save the day. Daddy Jeremiah, don't, never mind, don't, don't call me that. I mean, you could, only fans 2024. And onto the super articulated torso here, you can see using the 1 8 drill bit, just creating light bevels and not destroying the mechanism. For some reason, this feels very un-PG. Now we're moving on to the double-sided ball joint. This is a pretty easy fix. All you're going to need is some Loctite glue. This method I'm about to show you can be applied on both sides of the ball joint and also the ball joint on the legs. This Loctite I got at Home Depot, but you can get it at Walmart, HEB, it doesn't really matter. You can see though, just adding a light coat around the ball joint. What this is going to do is just create friction. It's like a layer. So you install your part, just rapidly move it back and forth. You will feel the glue drying. Once it starts drying, it starts to gain friction. You can repeat this process over and over again to increase the overall friction, which is pretty good for stop motion and or posing. I hope this video was at least of some help. I know no one likes to spend their money and then to break their part when assembling it. Thank you all again for being patient with me. I had a lot of events in my life kind of happen back to back to back and the support has been crazy. Once I get caught up with all my orders, I believe I had 200 over the last month and a half, which is absolutely insane. I'll start making more products. I'm definitely trying to lean more into the content creation side, but unfortunately I'm only one dude and it can get quite overwhelming. If y'all have any other questions or parts that you accidentally break and you want me to make a video, just leave it down in the comments and I'll try my best to accommodate you. I was able to pump this video out relatively quickly and now I gotta get back to order. So thank you all again.